Hello team, it's TK and I'm back again to show you how to install the latest version of SQL Server Management Studio that is SSMS 21. So if you are a SQL DBA or you're a developer or you're used to SQL, you will know that there is a new SQL Server Management Studio out and I'll show you how, how to install that version. So first thing you want to do is just Google SSMS 21 download. Right, we can just do download. Then we go on Microsoft website right here. We click on it. Once we click on it, this is what we are looking for. If you go all the way down, you want to download SSMS 21 right here. So click on that and you have your download file right here. So you can click to open it. All right, so you see it's doing its thing. Now you will see if you are used to SSMS, you will see that it looks different. It feels different, right? Because now it's using Visual Studio Installer. Just say yes. Once you click on yes, you wait for it to open up and click continue. Now it is installing. Again, it looks different from the old versions of SMS. Don't be alarmed, right? So look at it right here. This is the interface. Now, what you want to do to be safe, right? These are the various features that comes with this new SSMS. If you do not know what to install, it's safe just to install everything so that you are ensuring that everything you want to use is going to be in there. For example, if you click on the Indie or if you click here, it tells you everything, right? This is for reporting services, integration services, migration, hybrid. So just choose everything. So once you select everything, that is good. Now you can go to the language pack. The language packs, right, is English, obviously, unless you are somewhere that they don't speak English, right? You can choose Japanese, Korean, Czech, whatever your country might be, Chinese. Now you go to the installation location. What I like to do, I like to change this location to somewhere that I can easily access. So you don't have to, but I like to do that. That's just my personal preference. So I'll go to my PC, my C drive. I have folders I've created. For example, I'm going to put this first one here. Then I'll put this for the download cache. I'm going to put it here. Okay, open up. And for share comp components, Okay, let me see. Okay, for share components, there's already a folder in there. That's fine. So I'll just click install. So again, if this is your first time installing this version 21 and you're used to the older version that's 20 and below, it looks different. It feels different, but this is the way you install it. So don't be alarmed. Uh, just go through the process, you know, once we have installed everything, you will see that the interface is the same. It's just the installation process or steps that is a little bit different. It feels a little bit different though. But after this, when we install it and we start running it and we use it to access our SQL instances, then you'll see that it goes back to being normal. All right. All right. So let's wait for our installation to finish or let's wait for our installation to do this thing. So it's almost there. Okay, it's installing the packages. So as you can see, we have a few more to go. Just give it a little bit of time. All right, all right, all right. So we are, so just a little bit more. All right, all right. So yes, so we are almost done. So just, it's finishing up right now. So once it's done, it's going to prompt us or it's going to let us know. So let it finish up. Just give it a few more minutes. And it's going to be wrapping up. Okay, okay. So let's just wait for it to wrap up. yet okay so so just a few more all right so optimizing 
clean up okay all right and that is it so we are done with this process okay so uh, uh, another thing to note right if you click right here as you see with the it comes with options for you to install visual studio as you can see so that's something that is new with this new sms right and so it tells you what is installed right here so i can launch it from here right so i can launch at once but if i don't want to launch it i can close it that is fine then i come to my search bar just like you would do with the o1 type ss ms and is it right here you see it's right here so ssms management studio 21 so let me click let me click it and pin to my tax bar and then open up and now i have the interface yes it's no more yellow like you see it's the old one now it's a little bit blue but don't worry don't be alarmed the interface when when we log inside to access our sql instance it's all going to be the same okay this is another place that is different don't be alarmed if you try to log in right the old one we did not have this option say create this account just say skip it or do it later you don't have to do it right now so once you skip that it's going to open up again so all right so once you see that don't freak out don't be like oh my god you know yeah it's just something new now it's just saying that you can switch between the new and classic dialog box experience just say yes that is fine okay and okay so it said not responding but just give it some time let's give it a little bit of time for it to respond if if not then we're going to try to launch it again and hopefully we have any luck with it all right so finally it responded so here's the thing right i had installed this before so obviously um we transfer everything that i took from the old interface to this new interface but if yours is not showing anything it's just the same connection string that we use so you put in your server name then your authentication mode just like the old ones then you hit remember to kick trust server certificate right if if you don't see all this in here put your server name uh then you choose your authentication mode which probably is going to be window then trust then trust certificate and you keep connect and once you connect you are going to see that uh -huh, you see the interface looks the same the only thing is the color has changed from yellow to blue as you can see those are your system databases no nope, that's a user database let me go there you go yes those are your system databases that's a user database security object replication availability everything looks the same right all right so yeah so that is how you install and launch the new sql server management studio i hope this video was straight to the point and i hope the video was easy to understand all right stay blessed and bye-bye